Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to Tea Talk with Anne, where we talk all things faith, lifestyle, and wellness. Today, I'm going to be talking about something that had me in a chokehold for the longest, and I feel like it has a lot of people in a chokehold, even if they don't realize it, and that is male validation. Child, I have been struggling with male validation since I was literally a little girl. I hope that sharing my experiences would be able to help others. It took a lot for me to recognize that it was something that I was struggling with and then work on unconstructing everything that my mind was doing for so long. Without further ado, let's talk. So in my early childhood, my father was not present in my life. I was constantly searching to fill that void with love. I was really, really acting from a place of fear. I was scared of not getting married or not finding the love of my life. From my freshman year of high school all the way until my junior year of college, which was last year, I was in either a relationship, a situationship, I was talking to people, I had a roster. I was just never alone. I was scared of being alone, honestly, and I didn't even realize it at the time. I was dressing for men. I was taking provocative pictures for male validation. I wasn't even feeding who I was anymore. I wasn't concerned about my future. When I thought about my future, it was always about who am I gonna marry and you know whose wife am I gonna be? I wasn't looking at myself as an individual who can have aspirations and goals. I just put them on a pedestal and I was literally a side piece in my life. I was so desperate for love. When I think back to, especially when I was in high school, I remember I always wanted to save my virginity for marriage. Because I grew up in the church, I knew that was right. Even though I didn't really understand the fullness of why that was right, that was something I really wanted. And eventually, I was so desperate for love that I was willing to compromise and step out of something that I wanted for myself for so long that I know that God wanted for me as well. At the time, I thought that love was so unattainable that I had to do whatever I could to get it. That led me to getting in relationships where I had this idea that love was this thing that I just had to work so hard for. So. I accepted a lot of things that I did not deserve in relationships. I convinced myself that I was in love with these guys and they were in love with me and you know love was something that you had to suffer for and the truth is that is not what love is. I was longing for love and the male validation came in because I thought that I had to perform for love basically. I had to dress this way because what man is gonna love me if I don't dress this way? I have to post these pictures because how am I gonna find a man who loves me if I'm not posting this picture? This is what attracts them, this is what they like. So I have to make myself something that they like. Basically that's the mentality that I had for so 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 long. The isolation period that I had, I call it my dating God season because he was really just pouring into me and teaching me so much about myself. And one thing that he really had to address with me was why are you seeking love so much? What what do you feel like you're lacking of so bad that you have to compromise who you are and your values and everything so that you can achieve this love. And it really made me look within myself. I've known that I've had daddy issues, but I never realized how much they affected me in so many areas of my life, relationships, friendships, everything. The abandonment issues that I had that made me cling on to people who didn't deserve me. God really had to teach me that you have to have a self-love. You have to have respect for yourself because if you do not love yourself, if you do not respect yourself, you open the doors for other people to disrespect you as well and disguise it as love. My dating life was a mess, y'all. I was constantly in these toxic relationships, toxic situationships. 
in all of those situations, it was just so evident that I did not love myself. And I really do feel like the people that I was with, they could see that. That made me easy to manipulate. People do prey on your insecurities. And when people realize that you're not so secure in yourself, they will abuse that. They will play with you until you learn to stop playing with yourself god basically was like girl you don't even value who you are how do you expect someone to value you if you do not value you so god really had to teach me how to love myself how to respect myself and that's when the bondage of male validation started to break off and so in my separation period with just god he was just kind of pouring into me and showing me things about myself that made me beautiful on the inside he was showing me how i should be treated how how a godly relationship really looks how a man is supposed to treat a woman that he's courting with male validation out of the way i was able to see clearly and now i don't accept things that i don't deserve my worth is not placed by how many boys i'm talking to now or if i have a relationship my worth is i am worthy with or without a man i'm good i don't need love now y'all like i'm completely single i'm just chilling i'm living my life i've never been at peace the way that i am now it's just nice to value yourself and think well of yourself because you deserve that, not because somebody is in your life and you're attaching your worth to how they treat you. To any girl or boy who may be watching this who struggles with self-love and self-value and self-respect, I just want to say this you are all together beautiful you don't need anyone to validate who you are nobody gets to decide if you're worthy if you should be loved you deserve love and god made you and he loves you how you are and you have to accept his love before you will be able to accept any other person's love or recognize love you have to know love to recognize it and god is love when you get to know god you start to realize that anything that doesn't have his characteristics within it if it's anything that is not kind if it's anything that is not patient is it, if it boasts it's not love because that is not who god is and without god in it love cannot exist it is not love it is either lust it is confusion it is maybe y'all have love for each other i guess but that's not love that is not what you deserve you deserve to be valued you don't deserve to be crying all the time you don't deserve to feel unworthy because of how someone else is treating you for so long i was walking this earth and i was attaching my worth to how men viewed me and that is not the way it's supposed to be you are worthy with or without the man okay i really do hope that was able to help somebody because that is something that i really really struggled with for the longest time y'all and um there is a way out you're not gonna be stuck there forever it's a process you have to unlearn a lot of things that you have been doing for however long you've been in this but you will get through it and god is with you and i don't say this in my videos which i should but i am always open y'all if you reach out to me on any of my social medias with any issues i am open to help y'all i can just be a listening ear if that's what you need but don't hesitate to reach out to me because i really do love y'all and i really do care for y'all and i want the best for everyone um i hope that was able to help somebody y'all can reach out to me on my social medias below look out for next week's video i think tuesdays is the day that i am solidifying so yeah and with that I'll talk to y'all later.